Hello YouTube, today I'm taking a look at Alien Rage Unlimited. The question is, does this game deserve a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Alien Rage Unlimited is a first person shooter and it's a budget title. This game is about a mining station being overrun by aliens because they want some rare material or want it back, something like that. Mostly told through audio logs that are not really interesting to listen to. Though I did like the voice acting, it's crystal clear, there's some good voices in there. I just wish they had some good lines to say, actually. But nobody complained about Doom or Doom 3 not having a great story, right? You know, it's all about the shooting. And a bit about the graphics also. Well, let's start with the graphics. Well, I liked the graphics, I, I must say. It's, it, it has its own style. It's, it looks industrial. It looks metallic. A little glossy with the overuse of flares and flashes. But it sort of suits the the theme, you know, of the mining station and all. Lots of machinery everywhere. But the actual design of the levels, there, it's all pretty linear. Metallic-looking corridors is suited for the old-school run-and-gun action. Because running and gunning is all what this game is about. It's really a throwback to the shooters of old. Now, the levels are also full of strategically placed exploding barrels, so if enemies are nearby, you just shoot the barrels and everything explodes in their faces, which is, well, it's fun. I like it, really. So you'll see a lot of explosions, and they, they look pretty cool. You know, it's not that bad. People are say, saying that this game is very generic, it looks generic, plays generic, but to me, what's generic now is Call of Duty. You know, it's it's the same game every year, and this game just tries to be something else, tries to be something different. I mean, you don't, you don't see those games anymore. They're not made anymore. Now, the shooting, of course, is the most important thing in a first-person shooter. Well, the shooting is pretty solid. You know, it's in your face. It's, it's greasy, it's fast, it's furious. Uh, it, you get a lot of points for killing enemies, making headshots, blowing things up, so you really have an incentive to do that. Uh, you get some military weapons that look cool. Good models, the normal weapons, pistol, rifle, minigun, but also some alien energy weapons are thrown in the mix, so it looks cool, you know, the effects look cool, the animations of the gun and your hands and all that looks looks pretty amazing and also it give you a sense of impact you know they, they look like you got a weapon in your hand and, and, and it shoots stuff that really kills things really it's 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 it feels good the shooting Now, we get a good variety of enemies in this uh, game, though they are not overly intelligent. Okay... What, what are they doing? Alright, they're stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, now they found the door. Here you go. There you go. All right, all right. Usually, the enemies just charge at you. Some can cloak and turn up behind you and throw grenades. So there's there's a lot of frantic action going on. A lot of shooting, trying to stay alive. But what I didn't like is the fact that usually these enemies spawn at certain points in the level, so it sort of feels like you're playing a multiplayer match, 
with bots. Um, speaking of multiplayer, there is a multiplayer option in this game. It's sort of separate, which is somewhat weird, but it's there. You can do deathmatch, you can do team deathmatch, but unfortunately, nobody is playing it. Okay, so now I joined the game. There's nobody here! Oh man. Oh, I, I, I love I love the level design. You check check it out, but there's nothing nothing more lonely than walking around alone in a multiplayer level. So much so much work has gone into this. I it's it's just a, I, I would have loved to shoot some people here. But there's nobody here, nobody. So it's really back to this single player portion of the game. As I said, I, I enjoyed it. It's it's sort of fun. You also get some uh, some great Move. bosses Pass to kill. And the shooting is just I, I like it. I just like it. I can't help it. It's it's like eating a hamburger when you're really hungry. It's like that. You know, this game is not gonna change your life. Maybe after playing it you think like you're spend an hour a lot a lot better than just playing this game but uh, it's not it's just not that bad really you know it's not that bad as people who do reviews on the internet or uh, I'm just a player I'm a user I, I play this game you can get it really cheap on the internet somewhere it comes in bundles it, it is it, it was a budget title um, now it's even cheaper Iris I see the pumping station Stand by for some fireworks. All in all, this game, this last drop for me, Ethium. definitely deserves a thumbs up. I don't know about you, let me know what you think, and leave comments, and see you next time.